Which immune support is best for you? This is Dr. Scott Monk. Your immune system, like so many other systems in your body, is a teeter-totter. If you think of the immune system in real general terms, we have one half called the Th1 side and the other half on the teeter-totter called the Th2 side. It's the job of the Th1 side to help us manage and eliminate viruses, whereas it's the job of the Th2 side to help us manage and eliminate allergies. This graphic shows a balanced immune system with the Th1 side on the left and the Th2 side on the right. NK cells are natural killer cells. They are the group of cells that mostly function within the Th1 side. And beta cells are the group of cells that mostly function within the Th2 side. This graphic shows an imbalanced immune system where the Th1 side is much more active, it's high on a teeter-totter perspective compared to the Th2 side, which is low. The Th2 side being primarily responsible for allergy management within the immune system. This particular person with low Th2 function may suffer from allergies. All of us walk around with a little bit of a tilt in our teeter-totter, and so some people are more susceptible to colds or viruses, other people are more susceptible to allergies, and that gives you an indication of which way their teeter-totter is tilted. Being in an imbalanced state for very long, however, creates some pretty nasty problems, like tissue destruction and adrenaline surges that you see at the bottom of this slide. That's described as the TH17 system. How these TH1, TH2, and TH17 systems get their names is based on these abbreviations underneath here called cytokines. Those are the chemical messengers that operate within the immune system that cause functions to turn on or turn off. And given whichever ones they are, whichever groupings they are, that's uh, like the TH1, for instance, has interleukin-2, interleukin-8, uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and so on. That particular group of cytokines describes uh, the TH1 side, and a, and a different set of cytokines describes the TH2 side. But teeter-totters are everywhere. So in the brain, we have teeter-totters like serotonin and dopamine. The hormonal system, we have teeter-totters within estrogen and progesterone and many, many other hormones. We're talking about the immune system, that's Th1 versus Th2. The entire nervous system itself is a giant teeter-totter between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems. All of your vitamins and minerals are teeter-totters, so calcium and vitamin D is a teeter-totter, calcium and magnesium. Iron, zinc, and copper is an amazing three-way teeter-totter in and of itself, but it's balanced on a larger teeter-totter with B12, B6, and folic acid. Then vitamins B1 and B2 are profound teeter-totter, and finally the electrolytes, sodium and potassium, are an extremely important set of teeter-totters to balance, to fight, uh, to manage fight or flight. Here's a graphic of the serotonin dopamine teeter-totters that uh, show up often in the office when I'm treating patients. So the one on the left with high serotonin and normal dopamine describes a migraine pattern. The one in the middle with serotonin normal and dopamine low, that's an ADD or ADHD pattern. And finally the one on the right with serotonin low and dopamine high is a bipolar pattern. This particular graphic shows a low TH1. That's what we're discussing in our winter season when we're talking about what to do to manage viruses and colds and other viral infections. We want to boost that TH1 side, bring it into balance with the TH2. You can do that with certain uh, nutritional supplements. To, do the, to, balance, to boost the TH1 side, you use things like echinacea, zinc, vitamin C, astragalus, all the common things you would get if you went into the health food store and asked for some sort of cold remedy, those boost the Th1 side. The Th2 side, however, is more the antioxidant side, so we'd use things like green tea, berberine, pine bark, white willow, and grapeseed extract. If you're not in fight or flight, you don't have a lot of anxiety, you're not suffering from uh, vivid dreams, you don't get sweaty hands and feet, all these signs of overactive sympathetic nervous system or fight or flight, then you can also use a little bit of caffeine to boost the TH2 side. For both sides, it doesn't matter which one needs boosting, you need immune modulators, and those are things like vitamin D, adrenal cortex, thymus glandular, uh, the components of oils like EPA and DHA, and glutathione. To find out exactly which 
uh, supplements we recommend and promote to our patients that we've found most effective, you can go to the home page of my website, drscottmonk.com. And right there in red, it says what we recommend for antiviral protection. When you click on that, it'll take you to our winter wellness support pack page. It lists different uh, scenarios, different types of uh, situations you might be in, and which combination of supplements might be beneficial for you. I hope this brief summary of the immune system and its teeter-totters was helpful. For more information, you can visit drscottmonk.com. We'll see you soon.